What's up, people? Welcome to Marvelous Statues. As always, I'm George, and this is my collecting you segment where I'll be talking to you about collectibles and statues that have come out recently that I found interesting, and maybe some things to keep you occupied while you're waiting for your next XM or Sideshow box to get to the door. It's been three weeks since my last statue, and I'm already jonesing for my next fix. So I'll share with you some of the things that I've been doing to keep myself occupied. So let's get right into it. This past Friday was Thailand Comic Con. I've been drooling at the mouth since Friday over all the pictures I've been seeing online. It's, it's crazy. They've had uh, so many new updates from XM Studios. Uh, they had some reveals there that were pretty cool. Uh, so let's get into what, uh, what I saw that I thought was pretty interesting. So first on my list was the Darth Vader diorama by XM Studios. Now this is a statue that shows the full progression of Vader from when he was young Anakin to when he became a Jedi Knight and then to when he became Darth Vader. So what I've seen in the pictures is a little bit lacking and it needs some work. I know that the statues that they show there are prototypes. So I'm not really concerned with XM. I know they always seem to come out on top and do a pretty good job. But right now, the sculpture looks like it's lacking in uh, some details with as far as paint goes. Uh, I kind of feel that the Darth Vader pose is a little bit played out. They've, uh, they've used that before. I've seen it in, uh, in other statues. So overall, it's a start and we'll see how it goes. You know, I'm looking forward to seeing what, what they can do with that statue. Next up is the Carnage statue by XM Studios. This one's pretty cool. I like the overall pose that he has. One of the head sculpts gives that crazy look that you know you expect to see from Carnage. And I like the way they sculpted all of the symbiote uh, tentacles that are coming off of the suit. It, it gives that crazy feel that you expect to see from Carnage just because he is a little bit more wild than Venom. Uh, I, overall, I think that the statue is a good companion to the Venom statue. Uh, I don't think that they are going in a wrong direction with this one. The paint app seems to be pretty good. Uh, I like the alternate head where you get to see him in the full mask. So I'm looking forward to this one with a lot of hope. This one looks pretty good. Now switching gears from XM Studios, another company was out there called Ryu Studios that presented their Naruto 1-6 statue. Now I haven't watched the TV show, so I'm not very familiar with it. Uh, this was just an image that jumped out at me. I really do like that the sculpt has got a lot of vibrant color going on in it. The sculpt of the base has a lot of detail. That Chinese star on the right is pretty neat. It's very cool looking and very a unique statue. If you're interested in pre-ordering this piece, Rio Studios has a Facebook page where you can pre-order it from. I included the link below. You can check out some of the other stuff they have. They have some pretty cool stuff. So next up on the list is not a newcomer to the convention. Uh, it's the Catwoman statue by XM Studios. What they did reveal here was the new head sculpt. So the new head sculpt shows that she's biting her lower lip, which gives it a nice sexy pose. Um, I do think that they need to rework it just a little bit, maybe show that the teeth are actually biting the lip. Right now, it kind of looks like she may be snarling if you don't really get up close on it. So overall, I love the Catwoman statue. The pose, the motorcycle, everything looks like it works together. It's going to be a great companion to the Batman piece. So look forward to that review soon. So again, next up is not a newcomer to the convention, but I feel that it has to be mentioned. This is the epic X-Men Sentinel diorama by XM Studios. It takes me back to my 1990s cartoon that I grew up with. Man, I love this statue. There's so much detail going on here that it's too much to mention in this short video. I mean, you have all these awesome characters in the scene. You have Beast, Psylocke, Colossus, Jubilee, Archangel, and Bishop, along with this monstrous looking Sentinel in the center all in this one big battle. It's, it's great. I love the, the detail. I love all of the work that they did here. Unfortunately, this thing is extremely expensive and <laughs> extremely huge, even at one six scale. If I was to get this, I'm sure my wife would kick me out of the house. So this will never make it here, but it's awesome to see in pictures anyway. So the next one on my list is the Optimus Prime statue by XM Studios. Now this one got a little rework of the pose from the original images that I saw. The new pose has kind of a whole Saturday Night Fever going on with it. I kind of like the original pose a little better with the gun kind of pointed in the direction that Optimus is looking. Uh, overall, the details are insane, uh, like you would expect to see in a Transformers statue. Uh, lots of things going on in the sculpt that I like with the base. Um, the color app needs to be brightened up a little bit, but I like it. It also has some light up features, which is pretty cool. And the statue now comes with the truck that you can display alongside the statue. Uh, it wasn't shown at the convention, but I've seen images of it and it looks pretty cool. So the next two statues were prototypes. They didn't have any paint applied to it, but they are pretty damn cool. So the first one of these is the prototype of the Predator statue by XM Studios. This thing is insane. It has so much detail going on. I love the pose. I love the way he's just sitting there like screaming in the air. It has a lot of dynamic strength and feel to it. it it's awesome. The skin has so much texture. 
uh, the base as well. I, I mean, I really like that they added those skulls into the base. Uh, the weapons also are full of all kinds of details and texture. He has all his armor and everything shown in it. it it's great. I'm really looking forward to see where they go with the paint app. And then the other prototype that was being shown was the Iron Man Hulkbuster. Now this one has a whole Titanfall feel to it. I like how the Hulkbuster is, you know, in a down pose. Looks like it's been through some battle. And, you know, Iron Man looks like he's jumping out, getting ready to blast somebody. I mean, it's, it's really good feel to the statue. So much detail, just as the same as with all the others that XM Studios puts out. There's no word yet as to if it will have some light up features, but I like where they're headed with it. I can't wait to see what they do with the paint. So now we're going to get into my personal favorites of the show. The first one on my list is the Winter Soldier by XM Studios. So I like that they went with a comic book feel for the statue. I love the way that he's posed, that he has the gun, you know, holstered up there and the knife in the other hand. The detail on the metal arm is done very well, has very nice robotic arm look to it, which they did very well. And they, and they have the gloves there with the knuckles showing out. I think that the hair looks like it's sculpted very well. I like how it looks like it's just blowing over on his face. The base that he's standing on looks like it has a lot of nice detail. And the paint app and the design look like it's done very nicely. Overall, it looks like a very nice statue to own. So the next of my favorites is the Spider-Man statue by XM Studios. Now, I love the way they did the whole swinging around the post. And they did a nice job with the, the, the sculpting of the spider web. It, it looks awesome. I just I like how that's done. So another cool feature about this statue is that it gives you some options to have uh, different characters from the Sinister Six uh, chasing after Spider-Man. So they give you the option for the Dr. Octopus uh, tentacle. You have the symbiote from Venom. Uh, you also have the, uh, the, the hand, the sand hand from Sandman. And you have the uh, scorpion tail from Scorpion. So I thought that was a really cool touch. So the only two things that I could see that maybe need to get some rework is the face on the unmasked version of Spider-Man. I'm not really feeling the way that looks. And I don't really like the pumpkins on top of the post. I feel like that they're both aimed in the same direction. I feel like you should probably have one uh, angled down slightly just to give it a, a difference. Otherwise, it looks like they're attached at the top and it just doesn't feel right. So this is a convention exclusive statue. What? Yes, Jerry, I'm disappointed too. But, you know, just because it's a convention exclusive doesn't mean you can't get it. It just means that we're going to have to get it on the second market. So the next one on my list is the Very Sexy Black Cat by XM Studios. I really like the way this statue looks as well. Um, I feel that this is probably the best black cat that I've seen in a long time. So I really love the base of this statue. That cat is sculpted extremely well. I love the detail that they have going on there. The color looks beautiful. She is in a very provocative pose. I, I think that it's a, a well sculpted look for her. The face is done extremely well. I love how the has the two switch out hands where one looks like it's touching her teeth and then the other one shows her holding the, um, the diamond. I, it's just, it's done very nicely. A uh, very popular statue right now from what I heard. So my suggestion with this one is, is pre-order while you still can. So at the top of my list and my personal favorite is the Spider Gwen by XM Studios. I think that this statue is just cute. I, I love the way that they, they made her look on this. Um, I love the body type. They, instead of giving her the whole J. Scott Campbell, you know, voluptuous look, she has kind of a gymnast build to her, uh, which I think is more realistic. She has three different head options. Uh, one of the heads, it does need a little bit of work. Her eyes look like they're kind of spread out. Uh, it has the masked portrait. And then my favorite one where it shows her listening to some music. You know, since she's a drummer with the Mary Janes, this actually works very well. I also like that it features the book bag that has the drumsticks inside of it. And you got that cool looking Spider-Man pin on the book bag, which I think that's a pretty cool touch. I also like that the base is kind of simple in comparison to all of the other bases that XM Studios usually comes out with. So I think that'll be a pretty easy statue to display in your collection. So again, like with Black Cat, Spider-Gwen is a very popular character right now. So I suggest that you also pre-order this one while you still can. So those are the statues that were at the event this past weekend. I do have one other one to talk about that was not at the event. So I found this one by chance on Facebook. It is the Marvel vs. Capcom Captain Marvel. Try to say that one fast. It's because it's a tongue twister. By Claudio Saavedra Iriarte. Claudio, if I butchered your name, I'm sorry. I'm trying my best. <laughs> so this statue is badass. I'm not a Captain Marvel fan, but after seeing this statue, I really want it. It's, it's really nice. I love the color app. This thing looks like it's bouncing off the wall with color. I love the pose. The dynamic feel of it is just insane. It looks like she's about to just knock somebody through a wall. I love the mohawk looking haircut. She looks like she's a super saiyan in this. It just is 
is, is a great looking statue. Claudio has an art station page if you want to take a look at it. On my Facebook page, I have the link there. I also provided the link below here if you want to take a look at more of his work. The guy's very talented. And it's really beautiful work to take a look at. So like I said at the beginning of this video, I've been trying to find ways to keep myself busy while I'm waiting for my next statue to come in. Uh, I went and downloaded the beta for the uh, Marvel Heroes Omega on the PlayStation 4. It's a pretty good game. I've played the game on the PC. I'm actually feeling the way it is on the PlayStation. Uh, I like being able to play with the PlayStation controller. It makes it a little more comfortable for me. If you were a fan of Marvel Ultimate Alliance, this one's right up your alley. It's just like that game, except you're playing as one character and you can play with your friends. So it, it's a lot of fun. The beta started April 21st and will go on through May 15th. When the game releases, it'll be free to play. So check it out if you get time. And then yesterday, I got a chance to take a look at this Powerless TV show on NBC. I think the show is kind of funny. It's a little quirky, kind of reminds me a little bit of uh, Chuck in that sense. You know, it has that feel to it. I really like their intro. It gives it this whole uh, classic comic look and then you have the characters from the show in there uh, hidden. Um, it, it's, it's pretty cool. Uh, I suggest you check it out, see what you think about it. So that ends this segment. I hope you found this fun and informative. If you did, hit that like button. If you're new here, hit subscribe. I'm always on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter if you ever feel like chatting. Um, I've gotten some suggestions where people are asking me to do reviews on one six scale statues and uh, the Hot Toys line as well, not just sticking to the big guys. Um, I'm open to this. If you feel the same way, you know, please comment below. Let me know if that's something that you'd like to see. Um, again, please keep in mind that I am paying for this out of my own pocket. So, you know, there's nobody giving me any statues for free. Uh, but I will do my best to get this on the show to make it fun for everybody. Um, so, again, that ends this segment and I'll see you next time.